What's up guys, this is your boy Russian and this is the Hell Hades 2024 free to play competition and we just finished month one so let's see how the account's doing right now. Uh, I did drop from first place, I actually got I believe a mullet, uh, mullet heaver, uh, odd one gaming and one of the guys my team that actually passed me, Kropishu, uh, but good, not bad. So let's talk about, first of all, let's open those shorts that I just got for completing that one month. And, alright, so I picked my beautiful chicken. Now, if I pull her, I'll promise you guys, I'm going to save it because I'm going to be giving that account away uh, in the end of the competition. So, alright, and I feel this dude's going to be good for me. What do you guys think? Let me know, would you have chosen different? All right, so sacred. <laughs> I don't have silver. All right, let me fi fix that problem. All right, let me see. Let me see. That's what happens, man. Free to play. You end up stuck like this. Completely broke. And I don't know why they charge for shards. So let's take a break on the opening shards and let's take a look on. Let's try to get a mortal soul stone in here. So I actually. Okay, let's see. Come on, guys. Give him some luck, all right? And... Totem. Not good. Now, let me just show you guys one rare that I actually... It's not a great rare, but with all the changes uh, in the last update, she can actually be a really good rare for me. Um, and this would be actually two... This guy that I had before, I had for a while, um, forgot his name, Golish Render. And I forgot hers. Anyway, the point is, she's. I got six star and I got five star in here. Now, sure, if I was to hit this dude with four star, I also would be great. Uh, but, you know, uh, let's see if I get luck on that. Anywho, uh, let me try to get some silver right now. All right, and we're back, and I have enough silver to open those. I don't understand why you're charged to actually open shards when you already pay uh, a lot of money to buy them, when you buy, if you buy. All right, so let's see. All right, guys. Uh, and by the way, uh, really before I do that, thank you for your well wishes uh, for my birthday. Uh, my birthday was yesterday. Thank you very much, you guys, uh, in the comments. I really appreciate it. All right, so without further ado, let's just go for the shards, all right? Okay. So... Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Occult Brawler. That's great. Not a poisoner, as you guys know, pretty much most of the epics uh, I pulled, they're poisoners. Um, that's okay. But I do like Occult Brawler because he can be great for Dragon. So, that's amazing. So pretty much, like, he raise his damage uh, by how many poison he has. What it means, Dragon... He's dead. Plus, uh, his affinity is great for me because I pretty much the only ones I have they're magic. So spirit, spirit affinity uh, gonna be great for a change because I'm having a lot of problems to pass some of the force affinity bosses. Okay, great. All right, let's see void. Who do I pick? I pick this guy. Because when I give the account, if I pull him, you know, that's going to be good to whoever gets it. And now let me take a look at these champions. Atlan the Golden uh, plays a shield. I do have a good shield one. But he plays a shield on himself. Okay. Attacks on enemies. True fear. Not a bad thing. Chris crit damage. Accuracy. On a four turn, if booked. Now, he doesn't... Uh, yeah, he's kind of a little heavy on book. Ignores 10% defense when attack support, defense, and HP champions. Okay. 
And let me see. Aela Life Raid. So attacks one enemy, restores max HP. Or the ally with the most destroyed HP, what is not a bad thing for. She puts a sleep on. Okay. Block debuffs. Instant turn effect on this champion and ally after using an active skill. All right, that's not bad because it's in a one turn cooldown. So this would be. I'm gonna go for her. Let's see how that goes. All right. Let's cross our fingers or give me. Not this guy. All right, do go. Never use him. Tax one enemy, decrease speed. Okay. Tax all enemies, decrease accuracy. And one enemy three times, but it's in a five turn four if booked. What is this to book? Booking rare champions per use. So, I don't know. Let's see. I do need some faction wars, uh, dwarfs. But I really need to see if I'm going to use him and how I'm going to use him. So, okay. I just have two more. Two more shards. All right. Let's see. Ancients. Dun, 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 dun. Wild Totem. Um, I. Okay. Come on, give me something good. Marked. Not bad. Marked is actually pretty good. She has a decree of defense. She has attacks on enemies, decrease accuracy. And block debuffs and all eyes and increase defense. Now. I believe she's she hits pretty hard, what I think is great. Plus, uh, she's in one of the fusions, so I have different ways I can use her. What it's pretty good, uh, and she does have a defense in faction creep. So, all right, so not bad pulls, not what I wanted or hoped, but that's gonna work for now. And they keep trying to sell me stuff, try to sell me a nice shard in here. That would help. And let's see, events, summer rush. How many points? Oh, well, not too bad, nothing great, but you know, I got some silver I needed. What reminds me that I needed that silver. Just bear with me, guys, to get that third set. By the way, I'm so happy. Like, this set, for example, uh, I'm not going to use for her, really. Not in this way. But I need to complete one of my quests, right? Okay, so this is here. Let's equip. And I don't have to pay. There you go. Challenge complete. 80k. Get this book. I already completed some of them, more energy, more silver, more silver, and all right, so, hmm. I may be able to complete that by today, or in a couple of days, but it's not bad. Uh, let's see, and the most, uh, the best thing here is it's really simple, and I can get this chart. Um, that I need. I, I need a good champion. I'm really hope for a cold heart because I'm probably I'm not sure, but I may be going against a fire knight this month, so it would be really great for me to pull a cold heart. All right. So yeah, as I'm saying that, let's see how things are going. So fire knight right now, I was able to clear 16, what is pretty good. Puts me right on top. Just the timing is bad also I have to go manually to make sure it's a hundred percent when I don't go manually it's kind of I try to do the best with uh, my team setup but it's it has to be manual right now now 17 because most of my if you look at most of my team we're the really wrong affinity for force. So 
it gets really hard for me to do damage plus it's a it's not a hundred percent that i actually going to be able to reduce the turn meter plus getting her alive because she's very squishy uh allure it's kind of complicated now sure if i get uh sanguinea to six star it probably would help but i'm still going against a force champ so i need to try to work on that doom tower i'm still stuck uh as of right now on the 50th floor um it's basically i need to do damage faster on this guy so i need to work on my equipment uh maybe get Rotalus with take the Rotalus set off him and put him in a lifesteal gear or something like that it's probably gonna help uh, i just need to move gear around what is great right now because free okay so yeah that's about it uh arena i actually open live arena and i'm doing pretty good i'm actually by tomorrow i should get my first chess which is great um yeah, and plus, I know a lot of people complain about live arena, but for free to play, we you know, most in a competition, you get a lot of nice awards in here. Uh, it's hard. Sometimes you really cannot win. If you feel you lost a couple in a row, get off because you're gonna probably start seeing the same uh, people uh, that you're gonna have to battle battle uh, against. So my team's okay, and I've been winning pretty decent but it's nothing crazy like it's actually been pretty rough like my win rate is 46 percent about half uh, but i'm actually going against you know uh legos so this is not too bad uh tag team arena i'm on tag team two and i'm moving into two gold now I have to pick, like, going against UDK, it doesn't mean I'm going to lose, but it's pretty rough for the most part. Uh, I try to get teams that are under 100k because I feel most of them, if they have one on me, if they attack me first, it makes it really hard. Like this one, for example, I wouldn't go against because the speed there are. Uh, yeah, I feel that would be really hard. So, I got, that's a skip for me right now. So, yeah, guys, a uh, lot going on. Really going to be working on my Fire Knight team. As you guys saw uh, in a couple of videos ago, I actually put some really good champions for Fire Knight. So, I'm going to be building them um, in the next couple of weeks to be able to go up. Uh, because, honestly, Allure, if you have the right team, you can pretty much like beat Fire Knight all the way up to 25. So the only thing I really need, I need to be able to clear um, all the waves before I get Fire Knight. And that's probably uh, my main issue right now. And the most when I go against Force, because as you saw, all my champions are magic. So, but I do have this Force champion. He has a three hitter. Uh, she has a three heater what is rough because she's magic so I, I got a couple of really good ones that are gonna be helping me um i just have to build them up anyway guys yeah uh let me know if you guys still follow the competition i feel this month gonna be really exciting because we're gonna have pretty much one guy from each team against each one of the dungeons and we're gonna be having our the best of our team in one dungeon let me say I I have I'm a little slow clearing dragon for example I probably could push higher but we have guys who are actually clearing above me now I'm the one that is clearing the best right now as of right now uh, fire knight so I probably gonna go for that I don't know if someone's struggling in the others I may move around but let's see how that goes and guys thank you very much for being here I know this week have been kind of rough with videos and it's mostly because i had a lot of things to deal with personal things and also film school stuff so 
Thanks for being here. I really appreciate you guys. And as always, I'll see you in the game.